Yes, yes, people, welcome back to the channel today. You are in for a treat. We are here at the Belfry. Episode two of the Bucket List series. We're playing none other than the PGA National. It's gonna be a challenge. <laughs> this, is, this is probably the hardest course I have ever played. It's windy, it's gonna rain. Right, hole number one, right the tail, yeah. a nice one to stop. Short par four, 315 yards. I was gonna take hybrid, but we've got wind health in and I'd love to be in the fairway on the first. Caught a little bit, well, a little bit fat, but we're, <laughs> we're on the fairway. <laughs> right, okay, longer approach than we wanted, 163 in. I'm gonna club down to an eight. The wind should help. Oh, that is a lovely strike. Sit down. Hold it, hold it. Just through the green. We spent a lot of time on the putting greens today because I have never in my life played greens this quick. Okay, so just ran through the green. So no complaints. Bump with the pitching wedge, it's downhill so it doesn't need much. Just get it on the green. Sit down now. Ah, sit down. Okay, <laughs> I told you the greens were quick. Uphill put, right to left, off the fringe here. I'm gonna leave this out right. Oh, they're not that quick, Dennis. They are not that quick. All right, for the bogey. Bogey on the first. I will take that all day long, let me tell you. Right, hole two, we've got a par five. Water, but we don't need to worry about that because that's playing about 300. So I'm gonna hit a hybrid, hopefully a nice little draw rather than a hook. Come back, should be all right actually. Oh, that is, that is a lovely tee shot. <laughs> I didn't hit many of them in the warm up, let me tell you, come on. Middle of the fairway, needs to be a good shot. Let's cover the water, seven iron in hand. Oh no. I think that might be dead, might be a drop over there. Yep, it was a bad time to fat it. Very, very bad time to fat it. Who knows, we might get lucky. All right, you hate to see it. The Belfry Agua has already claimed one of my balls. <laughs> Didn't take long, so we're dropping here for four. A little punch out with my pitching wedge here. Yep. Yep. Couldn't do any more than that. Here we go. 58. Oh dear. <laughs> the wedges again. <laughs> right. We cannot let the wedges live rent free in my head today. Not today. Come on. Better. Get up there. It's actually a good chip. Right, come on, we're putting. Try and judge the pace on this one then. Oh my goodness, right, down the hill, right to left. Go on. I didn't want to race it fast. Right, come on. That's a good two putt, come on, let's take the positives. Not the best hole for me, but listen, there were some positives in there. Come on, let's keep it moving. Let's keep it moving. Right, 
<laughs> Absolutely terrifying par three now. I'm not even going to talk about the water here. Seven iron in hand, come on. Long left, bunker or long? Yeah, left bunker. Not an awful strike, just pulled it. It's a tough hole. Can't be right, can't be left. Right, I'm not sure if the camera does this any justice, but that is an absolutely horrendous bunker shot. Pfft, wish me luck on this one. Right, <laughs> I can just about see the flag. Oh my God. This is where you need to know how to hit a proper bunker shot. Oh my God, okay. Come on, Dennis. Wait in the front foot. Stay on. <sighs> oh dear. This course is gonna have my life. Right, we're out. How many did that take? Three attempts? <laughs> Oh, it's going to be a long day. Listen, we knew today was going to be a challenge. I have never faced a bunker shot like that, but apparently we're on the fringe, so we move. Right, here for five. Sit down now. Oh, it's actually not a dreadful putt. Right. <laughs> what you didn't see is that it took me three attempts to get out of the bunker. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, boys and girls, listen, we'll move on to the next. Come on. Right, hole four. Probably the scariest hole from a flyover perspective. Um, you can either be aggressive and over the water for to carry, but you have to carry 200 yards, or you can bail out to the right and just take the safe route. So that's what I'm doing. Aiming nice and nice and right. Six sign in hand. Should be good. Yeah, that's actually absolutely perfect. I couldn't have placed that any better with this club, honestly. One, four, five in, it's a perfect nine iron. Oh, that's lovely. Stay left. Oh, that's on the green. Ladies and gentlemen, golf shot. Come on. Right, this is probably our best look at par so far, boys and girls. Right to left, down the hill. Let's see if we can cozy this close and steady the ship here. Oh dear. Swung right to left like no tomorrow. Really hard to read, but I think it's right to left. That's six feet for the par. There's a lot of golf left in that. Oh, Dennis. Feel a little bit short changed with the bogey there, but listen, the golf is golfing a little bit, so. Oh, can't be three foot in from there, but come on, we move, bogey golf. Here we go, hole five. Par four, big one now. It's about 380 yards, 375. Dog leg to the left. I feel like I have to hit hybrid here. We need the yardage. So just following the buggy. That's the line. Kick right. Well, that could be lucky. I think we just rode that bunker and then hopefully back down into fairway. Right, I didn't even know. <laughs> the bunker sort of comes in, back into the fairway, sat in a footprint. Um, let's just see if we can get out here. Yeah, not much more I can do. You can see the flag, you can see the green, but it's 195 yards away, so not looking good. Here for our third, five iron in hand. Long left. Oh, I'm in another, <laughs> I'm in another bunker. <laughs> I'm getting my money's worth today. I am getting my money's worth. 
and the rain's coming down so the bunkers are wet so it's not helping not helping anyone but ah. <laughs> need to find the fairway we're not going to let the course batter us up today um, i'm out here for a good time not a long time today uh, no pressure on my score just out here to hopefully enjoy myself take it in you know what a course what a challenge let's see if i can rise above it get in the bunker practicing that's one way to look at it come on let's get out in one oh. <laughs> This is gonna be this is gonna be another tough one to edit, but the move. Come on. We're out. We're out. Alright, here for six. Not going our way so far. Not awful for pace. This for the triple, right to left. The putter's sort of working. <laughs> That's another trip on the scorecard, ladies and gentlemen. We move. One thing we've noticed is next to any green, even if you hit a good shot, if you miss it, there's going to be a bunker with about 10 feet of elevation to get back out of. So it's punishing. You have to be dialed. Need to get green in reg or, or we're not going low today, that's for sure. All right, hole six, another par four. Sort of dog legs to the left. Let's see if we can find the centre of the club face with the four hybrid. The last one was a little bit, little bit hosily. So here we go. That should be good. Interesting. Yep. Question. We found a fairway. Right. The rain is coming down. I've got 180 yards straight over the bush, blind shot, six iron in hand. Ah. <laughs> one good shot, one bad shot. One good shot, one bad shot. <laughs> one ten out. Couldn't capitalize on the good tee shot. That felt really good. Tell me it's on. We're on the green, come on. Right, here for the par. One of my better ones for speed. Tidy up here. Left edge for the bogey. Another two putt, come on. It is now torrential rain. <laughs> What a day for it. What a day for it. Right, hole seven, the longest par four in existence, 435 yards. 435 yards, oh my goodness. And the ground's soft. Gonna need every bit of this four hybrid that we've got in the bag. Oh God, the grip's wet. Oh God, that is soaking wet. Skyed it a bit, be short enough. <laughs> I was going about 150 yards and it was straight out the toe. Prime British summer golfing, absolutely throwing it down. Apologies if some water droplets get on the lens, by the way. Right, here we go 230 out, so it's a layup with the seven iron. A nice straight one would be, would be perfect. Yeah, lovely. Should be fairway. Thumbs up, we're on the fairway. Okay, here we go. We've got about 90 out to the middle, but the flag's at the back, so it should be a nice, nice sandwich here. Pulled it left. Kick right. Off the hill. Ah, okay, yeah, we just missed the green. Right, here we go. Little delicate one off the top of this hill here. Almost feed it into the bank and let gravity do the rest. Sit down. Sit down. Oh. <laughs> that is exactly what the doctor ordered. And if my maths isn't mistaken, 
That's the first par on the scorecard. Come on. <laughs> that all felt like a par five. <laughs> so it wasn't a par, it was a bogey. Um, but yeah, it felt like a par. And to be honest, we played it probably to the best of our ability. So no complaints. On to the next. Come on. Right, hole eight. Par three, 187 yards. I'm gonna hit a six iron. It's a bit thin, be big enough. Oh, water. I thinned it. Right, ball numero dos. <laughs> Here we go, 60 yards left. Oh no. I might have rolled into a bunker. All right, we're still battling here, I'm battling the elements. Little pitching wedge up there. All right, we've got to put a double. Here for the five, we're staring a triple in the face here. Oh, don't know why I absolutely hammered it, to be honest. About five feet to save, save a triple. Another two putt. If we can get to the greens <laughs> in less strokes, we'll be okay. If you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed, press the subscribe button. Today's video is gonna be a bit of a drag. The mood might not be as high as usual. It's, it, the, the weather is, is dreadful, I'll be honest. It's awful, so uh, we're battling the elements, but yeah, hopefully the golf picks up and uh, the, the sky's clear. For the boys because it's it's tough out here right now hole nine par four looks fairly straight but as usual there's bunkers absolutely everywhere there's no getting away from them today another four hybrid yeah that'll do nearly fell over but yeah that'll be well over the 200 yard mark right middle of the fairway can't complain we're going to have to lay up though. <laughs> it's another par four we're laying up. Um, we've got about 2.30 out. On another day, I'd go for it with the hybrid, but these bunkers, and there's two, one left, one right, so I don't want nothing to do with them. I never felt comfortable in that backswing, and I'm yet to back off of all, but, oh. Take your time, gentlemen. Right, could still get there in three. Which needs to be needs to be a good nine iron. Thin to win. That might be so lucky. On the green and now off the back. Okay. Yeah, no complaints today. Up for the bump and run here. Pitching wedge in hand. Should play right to left. Ah. Oh. Oh, no, no, no. Somehow managed to pull the hell out of that. Right, up the hill. Should fall left to right here for the bogey. Yeah, line was good, but never stood a chance. And another double. A good tee shot punished, punished by some, some bad approach play, but we'll move another six on the scorecard. All right, we make the, make the turn, <laughs> nine holes, 18 over. To be honest with you, normally I would be pretty gutted with the scoreline, but yeah, it's like I said, today, not much in terms of expectations. Um, all I asked of myself today was to, was just to be able to play the course few good shots, a few bad shots, but sort of play the course. I don't, I don't know if that makes any sense to you, but just feel like I'm knocking it around okay. And I, to be honest, I think I'm doing that. I think I'm doing that. It's just the odd stroke here and there that I'm giving up. So listen, we move. Right, another monster par four. <laughs> 428 yards, fairly straight hole, slight dog leg to the left, if anything. So yeah, we're planning to get there in three again because yeah. This course is long. Oh, no, no, no. Bunker, I think. 
Oh. It was so bad it was actually all right. I think it's another one of my 160 yard specials. <laughs> right, hitting a seven iron here. We're losing our swing. We're losing our swing and the rain is still coming down. 140 kind of into wind here, nine iron in hand. Come on, wind. All right, we're on. Somehow, somehow we're on. That wasn't the prettiest swing in the world. It didn't feel good. I was actually surprised. I was surprised it was as good as it was, but yeah. Need to find the swing. I think, I think we're just getting a little bit stiff. A little bit stiff. Need to loosen up. Spaghetti arms incoming. All right, we're going to cross our fingers and toes. Well, the rain doesn't absolutely soak the lens by the time I hit this putt. But we're here for par somehow, so let's see if we can trickle this in close and move on with a bogey here. It's not bad for pace. Oh, <laughs> yeah, not awful, but a horrible read. It didn't really snap at all out of the shot, but we've got about seven feet for the bogey. Right, not sure how to read this one. Gonna go straight at the hole here. <laughs> and that's another six. Right, here we go. Par three, and a nice short one. Um, 150 to the pin here, I've got nine iron. Oh, not another bunker, please. Oh, <laughs> the center of the club face isn't getting much action today. <laughs> Bunker shots with wet sand live rent free in my head. <laughs> yeah, all aboard, all aboard the struggle bus. Don't know what kind of stance this is, but we're freestyling here. It is what it is, <laughs> we're put in. <laughs> the rain has stopped, the jacket is off. The jacket is off and this is where I come to play, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, they're not that quick, Dennis. Uh, a lot more work than we wanted for the five, but here we go. And shock horror, I three put from there for a triple bogey. So apologies for that, didn't record the end of the putting. Um, in my defense, the GoPro sometimes cuts off when there's 10% left, sometimes it goes to zero, sometimes like 15%. So I'm um, not sure why it does that, but yeah, that just means sometimes I actually don't realize it stopped recording, finish my shots, and then <laughs> I find myself apologizing in the next clip. So, so here we are. <laughs> right, here we go, hole, is it 11 now? 12. 12. Hole 12. See if we can get off the struggle bus here. First part five in a while. Four hybrid, the name of the bunker. Yeah, I gave that a little bit of extra something. Yeah, should be middle of the fairway. Right, we're on the fairway. Um, I've never seen so many bunkers in my life. Bunker left, bunker right. You pretty much have to plot your way around the fairway on this hole. Seven iron in hand, just over this bunker on the left. Oh, Dennis. Oh, and I've given myself the worst lie ever. I must be so steep on these swings. Apologies to anyone. <laughs> Apologies to anyone witnessing this. It's not pretty now. Oh, we've given ourselves a bit of a funky funky stance here. 9-9 layup, there's no chance I'm hitting. 
hybrid up there. Don't kick left. Oof. Yeah, perfect layup. I'm gonna play the safe play here. I don't fancy going airborne. Long is just dead, thick rough. Go. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad. We've got to look at it. We've got to look. Gonna have to give this a whack uphill, right to left. Not that much of a whack. I've hit it straight through the brake. Straight through. Put for bogey. <laughs> Another two put. I think the putter today is the only club that's worked for me consistently. But listen, no complaints. If we can take this to other rounds, then, then we'll be in a good place. Come on, onwards and upwards. Good bogey, good bogey. Let's see if we can bogey every hole coming into the last. Right, we've just had a sausage roll, we're energized. Let's have it. Par four, fairly straight, slight dog to the right if anything. There's a menacing bunker playing at about 107, about 217 yards. So four hybrid, a nice draw to the left of that would be perfect. I think it's not long, yeah. I thought so. Just clinging on to the left side of the fairway, hopefully. Yeah, good tee shot. Listen, if nothing else, I've been quite enjoying the tee shots. I'm really enjoying the four hybrid off the tee. If, we, if, if that can keep working, then, then that's okay. It's more the irons. It's the irons that I'm struggling with today. Putter's good, four hybrid good, irons nada. Right, I think it's the first time on a par four we can actually go for the green. 170 middle, 152 front. I've got seven iron, we've got wind helping, so should be more than enough club. Just need to, need to find that swing with the old irons. Oh, that's way out to the right. That's probably another bunker, I would assume. Kick left. Yeah, don't know what down, don't know what's down there. All right, that six iron was absolutely massive. Uh, it was a big old, big old swing. Um, past the green, and now we're bumping on, and it's all downhill, so doesn't need much. Go, go. Oh, an extra yard and it all rolls downhill. Ah! <laughs> We've given ourselves an absolute monster of a putt. Almost tap it, but it's just gonna roll down the hill. I'll do well to stop it this side of the, this side of the hole. Right to left. Ah, uh, didn't have as much right to left in it as I thought. Get there. Oh. <laughs> it had to think about it and it said, yeah, nah. One thing about this course, every tee shot is like, can't go right bunker. If you draw it left, you're in that bunker or dead. Or if you're it, you're in the trees. It's just, yeah, absolutely relentless course. I'm hitting five iron, we've got a big dog leg right. About 200 carry would be perfect in that bit of fairway because then it opens up the dog leg. So I'm hitting a five. Yeah, that should be, be long enough. Yeah. Yeah, that's, I think that's exactly where I wanted to land. Right, I was hoping we'd run out a little bit further. So it's sort of semi-blind. I can see the flag, you probably can't. 166 to the front of the green, so. drawing on me. Oh, bunker. So as ball was above my feet, I should have aimed way out to the right, but that was such a good connection. Bugger. The bunkers have been magnetic today. I mean, look at the state of that. You guys know I'm not great out of bunkers. I can splash them out normally, but I need to get some elevation on this one. Oh, thank you. It's probably still not on, I would have thought. Yeah, just on the edge. We'll take that, ladies and gentlemen. We will take that. 
right to left down the hill to begin with and then it straightens up so start it out left and hopefully get in there close not too shabby at all another two put and a bogey on the scorecard <laughs> Come on. I'm not really scaring the hole with any pass today, but <laughs> that's not what today was about. Today was about, where's the next hole? I'm going the wrong way. So some, so some of you guys know that I'm coming back here to play in the final for the Springfield Golf Comp. Um, but of course we're playing off the tips. Today we're playing off the yellows, but hopefully still a good, a good opportunity for me to get a feel of the course because it's going to be a hell of a challenge off the tips, let me tell you. What is it now? Is this 15? Hole 15. Another par 3. We've not done great with par 3s today. Um, shortish one. Pins at the back though. Pins about 140, 148. So, 9 irons the club. Oh. I think just left side of the green, but I'm not sure what's down there. So, miss the green. I'm sort of pitching on from the side. Got pitching wedge, little bump and run. Feed it into this hill and then let it run down is the plan. Just like that. Ah, sit down, sit, sit. Okay, I've got to put for par. Tall order, but here for the three. It'll be a great time to pick up our first par. Ah, had the line, had the line. And that's in for another bogey. Listen, I don't mind back-to-back -back bogeys at all. In the comp, bogeys would be unbelievable. We've been gagging for a short par four, so you know what's gonna happen here. Triple double incoming, <laughs> triple double, triple bogey incoming. Um, come on, good tee shot here is, is, is enormous. Oh, I've fatted it. <laughs> yeah, about two inches behind the ball. Big old approach coming up. I was hoping for a nice wedge. <laughs> wedge or nine iron on here, but now we've got scary approach. 170 middle, 190 back. I'm going to hit a seven iron. <sighs> I love golf. I love golf. I can't swing my clubs anymore. It's almost done. We're almost there, guys. Don't worry. The suffering, the suffering will soon end. Oh. <laughs> Have I got a vendetta against the ground and the fairways today? Because I am slapping them like crazy. Right, okay. Here for two. One ten in. It's a lovely gap wedge number. Come on. That's thin. Spin. Okay, probably they're just off the edge. The good thing about when I thin it like that is they do get a little bit zippy. Sorry, you're gonna have a bad angle for this one. Unless I stick the camera in the bunker. <laughs> Close it is not. What I put in. This would be a hell of a par from here. Oh. Okay, not as bad as I thought. We've got to put a bogey. Yeah, good par. Bogey train. The bogey train is rolling. On to the next. Right, hole 17. Another shortish par four here. I'm gonna hit a five iron. Center of the club face would be lovely here. It's a little bit fat, so it's not gonna be massive. Yeah, probably about 190 total. Yeah, we'll take it, we'll take it. Got about 155 to the middle here. I'm gonna hit an eight iron. It's a good golf swing. 
Oh, way short. Could have calculated that. <laughs> howling into wind <laughs> yeah that was a lovely contact so that was probably about two clubs two clubs short one of the guys literally nearly just hold out from about 40 yards so you love to see it right here we go concentrate hey, hey. a little bit of finesse from your boy come on give the people what they want left to right Uh, hit it through the brake. Way too much work for this bogey. Oh my word. It's going to swing down the hill. <laughs> I literally had a brain fart mid swing. Okay. That is how you get a six from about 10 feet. Literally, te literally a 10 foot putt for par and a three foot for a six. It is what it is, I suppose. All right, here we go, hole 18. The end is in sight, people. The end is in sight. Water playing about 210 into wind, so this five iron shouldn't really be scaring the, scaring the water. Let's just see if we can find another fairway. Oh, it's left, it's left. Sit down. Another fairway, come on. The trusty five iron. All the other irons have let me down, but the five off the tee. We'll take the positives, we'll take the positives. All right, as we walk down the 18th fairway, <laughs> I'm recapping the round. Not great approach game. I think, I don't even think we clocked up a green in reg, so that's bad. But we did, we did find a lot of fairways, um, and that's good. For me, that is great. It's so weird. The tee shots have been my weakness for what feels like months now. And then all of a sudden, good tee shots. And now the irons don't work. <laughs> and then the footer is sort of starting to work. I mean, I've had a few par putts where I've not even scared the hole. So <sighs> it is what it is. Swings and roundabouts in this game we love. What are you made of? What are you made of? 54 degree. Oh dear, Shank. It was inevitable and what, what a way to finish the video, ladies and gentlemen. I was hoping to be in there for a par. I'm gonna take a gap wedge instead of pitching wedge here just because I need to pop it up right of the pin. Oh, that might be dead. Dead. Drip, I think that might be dead. It hadn't been 15 yards off the green <laughs> and fitting it into water. Oh, by the skin of my teeth. Look at the state of that, people. The hell of a paw put. <laughs> Left to right, down the hill. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'll blame the rough for that one. I'll blame the rough. This is a horrible read. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, I think we all want to get this over and done with. Right. Left edge. Come on, Dennis, for the bogey. Never was left edge, was it? Right, and there we have it. We scored 105 in the end, which, to be honest, isn't dreadful. It wasn't long ago that I wasn't even getting close to breaking 100, so on a course like this absolutely punishing torrential rain for the first half probably um not too bad and we'll be back on the 11th playing off the tips playing for the 3500 3, pound prize money so yeah let's see what we can do thanks for watching over and out